Oh, fuck off. <laughs> No mention in the morning clarion of the miraculous appearance of the image of an image of the Blessed Virgin in raised pastry on a chicken and mushroom pie in a fish and chip shop on the South Douglas Road. Or of the vast and already heaving multitudes quickly bust into place and intoning decade after decade of the rosary. Or of the swiveling dickhead dead Elvis lookalike who purchased the marvelous pie and insisted upon his inalienable right to consume it there and then, much to the chagrin of the murmuring throng. And yes, you do get tired of it all. The entire, or at least the observable universe, and the aloof orbital indifference of the planets, and the grotesque distances between stars, and the eternal oscillation between expansion and contraction, and the growing realization that everything you have said and done up to now, with the understandable exception of an evening alone in the paradisal shadows of the Alhambra, may be part of an extremely elaborate dream you are having in your tipsy mother's womb or the awful possibility that you are already a thousand years dead and haunting the shattered empty shell of yourself and the grim possibility that it would have been infinitely better for all concerned if you had never been born in fact it would solve everything for once and for all if someone could arrange to send that little Dutch fucker back through a wormhole in the space-time continuum to stick his finger in the Big Bang. This is the fourth time I have met that end of the world is nigh idiot, the day after his predicted end of the world whimper. And this is the fourth time he has justified the ultimate non-event with the pompous declaration that to all intents and purposes the world ended ages ago with the awareness of the interminable recycling of history and the whirling momentum of time. And just as I am beginning to think that he is right after all, I read in the evening bugle that this very same prick in the furs has won the lotto. I mean, even I do the lotto.